Okay, so let's stop this one. Y square in power x y, and we have in value x first because in the in the value of x range from zero to y, which includes one variable, and the interval of y is all constant. If the two intervals are both constant, we have to look at the function. And like we can <clears throat> we can decide like by looking functions whether like integrating the x or y x or y plus which one would be easier we can first we have to look at interval if the intervals are both constant the second you have to look the function so let's differentiate it or integrate with x so y will be constant so zero to four y square will be constant and zero to one We call it x1, x1. Okay, so I will, to be clear, I will write like this. Okay, so I will integrate that with change of variables. So let me refer to x1, we refer to when we 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 want the y right so the x right so we have to differentiate with x so when we will constant when we differentiate x we will get the x okay so the x is equal to u over y okay so let's insert here zero to four y square so in power x1 is we put u the x is the over y u over y here okay and the intervals range from zero to one and we have to integrate this all bit y again <laughs> all right so we get like that so let's take this one out because this is constant here so zero two four. So y square over y. We will get like this, and when we did integrate u, we will get e power u into the value of uh, which one zero two y dy. Okay, so one thing I have, I want to write clearly is this zero two y is. This interval is concerning with x. So we'll write x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. So at the place of u, we have to insert the value of x1 because we put u as x1, right? 0 to 4. Here we write y in e power x1. E power x1 here. Okay, so e power x1 and the value of x range from x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. E1. Okay, so let's insert the value here. So 0, 2, or here. So this is y, so let's insert the value of x here. So when we put x as y, it will be one into one, so one is fair. Minus the power when insert x as zero, so zero into y will be the power zero. Y. All right, so zero to four. So when we insert this at the when we y e power y square minus e power zero is one. So when we multiply with y equal to one, we get y into e y. Okay, so let's solve this one. So we can write this. Okay, we can write this as zero to four y e power y square. Minus this is multiplication, sorry. Okay. 
we have to integrate this dy minus zero to four y dy. All right, so this is according to the property of the equation. We can just write separately like that. And for this one, I will use change of variable again. Okay, so for the first one, we can use change of variables by putting u as one square. So u equal to y square. So du, we want dy, right? So dy. Y. So when we differentiate y squared, we get 2y and the dy. So we get y divided right? So we equal to equal to y dy. Perfect. So let's continue. So the number is zero to four. The e power y squared is y dy is du over two. Minus zero two four zero two four y d y. So let's integrate this one, and let's let's find the value of u here. So the value of x or okay, so y equal to y is zero two four right. So when y equal to zero. The value of u is when we put here zero, we will get zero. When we y equal to four, the value of u is we will get here is four squared, right? So four squared is sixteen. We can change the variable here or the value here, so zero to sixteen. Zero to sixteen. Wait. Okay, so here we can take like zero to sixteen and the power zero over two here. And here is zero to four y dy. So we can integrate now. Okay, so when we differentiate or integrate u, we will get e power u. This one by u, we can take this out. And the value of u is 0 to 16. Minus when we integrate 1, we will get 1 squared over 2. 0 to 4. All right, so let's put the values. So here is one over two e power sixteen minus e power zero minus when we put y as four, so four square will be sixteen over two minus zero. Okay, so When we solve this, two e power sixteen minus one minus here is two sixteen. So let's solve this one. The common we can take the common denominator as two. So here will be two. So e power sixteen. Minus one minus sixteen will be minus seventeen. All right, so this is the answer. I hope you guys get this one. If there is any question, please let me know. Thank you.